everybody, it's Glyn here with another Leadership Truth. And this week's Leadership Truth is self-awareness can be self-indulgent. Yes, indeed, it can. Um, I've spent the last 20, 20 years, yes, 20 years in this field of leadership development. I've done a ton of assessments. I don't know how many I haven't done, but I've done way too many. I can tell you I am fairly disorganized because I'm an ENTP. I am also extremely creative because my firm and brain dominance tells me that I'm super high in the innovation quadrant. Um, I can tell you that in Colby, I'm a quick start because, you know, I'm an improviser. All of these things are great. What does that tell you about me? Um, if you're on my team, they would tell you that sometimes I could be a nightmare to work for because I've got 50 million ideas all going at the same time because I like to improvise, I get energy from being creative, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so the biggest thing for me, frankly, that I've had to work on is how do I tone that down? How do I start getting that under control? Because this is the reality of leadership. Yeah, it's super important to work with your strengths. It's super important to find something where you can bring that energy and bring that into your work every day. That's called finding the right fit. That's called figuring out what to do what you love. However, there is always going to be a dark side to all of those strengths. So as I tell you, my innovation breeds chaos and confusion if I'm not careful, right? So knowing how to manage that becomes the key thing. So to me, there's a difference between being self-aware and doing something with it and being self-aware and becoming self-indulgent because what you do is you embrace all of your strengths and talk about how wonderfully innovative you are or how wonderfully strategic you are or how wonderfully, you know, whatever you are. But you don't look at the dark side to that, right? And you really, you know, become self-indulgent, right? It's like people have to work with me because I'm this way. So that's not what leadership is. And the other thing by ignoring how to manage your dark side is you are putting yourself at a distinct distinct um dis um what's the word i was gonna say dissatisfaction not dis disadvantage that's my word um you're putting yourself at a distinct disadvantage when it comes to your career because you know what we've talked about this before leadership is situational and if you don't know how to adapt your style and approach to different leadership situations you will find yourself missing out on opportunities or getting stuck at certain levels because all of those great strengths that you are indulging yourself in are not the things that are going to get you to where you need to be. All right. So don't be self-indulgent, be self-aware, but action the gaps and round yourself out as a leader. All right. Uh, have a great week, everybody. If you've got a leadership truth for me, send it my way and be sure to check out our book website, leadershiptruthsbook.com and order your copy of my book. Did I really sign up for this? Thanks so much and have a great week.